This video will discuss photogrammetry combined with guided surgery. The guided surgery that we're discussing is just bone reduction and implant drilling and placement. And this case is performed by Dr. Sully Sullivan through 3D Dentist through their training workshops. And we encourage anyone interested in this uh, combination or any kind of photogrammetry training to go through this program. Uh, they really do a wonderful job. You can see the link here at the at the bottom of the screen. So let's go through the let's go through the case. This type of case is part analog and part digital. And what I mean by analog is that we're going to have a physical guide system uh, that manages the bone reduction and manages the implant site drilling and implant uh, placement. Why is that important? Because uh, freehand dentistry, uh, although is is most prevalent and and very popular, it uh, often in, in full arch. Uh, it, it misses uh, a few things, and one of those is adequate amount of bone reduction, a uh, planned bone reduction. And with a with our combi guide and with other other types of uh, guided uh, bone reduction services we have at the laboratory, we can predictably give the proper amount of vertical space for long term prosthetics, which is really the key for for space. So what we're going to do is go through a whole case where we're, we're, we're going from start to finish, a little bit of the ideas, a little bit of the concept, and then what actually transpired during the surgery. So what you see on this screen is a what we call a pin guide, step one. This is a tooth-borne or tissue-borne guide, but these are windows for teeth. And this delivers the fixation base, which is the bone reduction guide. And the bone reduction guide and the fixation base are what the osteotomy guide and carrier guide clip into. So it's a stackable system that is fixated to the bone uh, after the tissue is reflected. So this is the assembly and these are all the components. Now when you start a photogrammetry case, there are two directions to go. One direction is to use a pin uh, or a tab or a screw in a, in the patient prior to extraction, either in the palate, usually in the palate on the maxilla, or in the labial or buccal areas, or sometimes even the posterior. But the idea is you have it before surgery and after surgery, and that's how you register the patient's bite before and after. Otherwise, when the teeth are gone, you lose uh, you lose the bite. The other way to do it is to fabricate an immediate denture prior to surgery and then use this as a reline to capture the ICAM or the PIC uh, scan references. Uh, not the flags, but the references, the scan bodies. So in this case, Dr. Sullivan went through both processes to, uh, to demonstrate. So the first step with this combination is to uh, seat is, is to well is to make a reflection and then seat the pin guide and fixation base together and then drill and seat we have lots of videos on our website and on on the, the internet that show the process of seating and pinning it's not complicated but it does help to have the tips and tools to to be able to do this so once this is seated the delivery device the pin guide is removed and then the fixation base remains in the mouth the full time. Now this is plastic. Uh, most of the time our uh, combi guide is metal. Metal osteotomy guide, metal fixation base. Uh, but for this process, um, for Dr. Sullivan, uh, he orders both types. For this particular teaching case, he used plastic, um, which, is, which is perfectly fine. We make it a little bit more thick, we make it a little bit thicker, about four and a half, five millimeters thick so that we have a nice robust plastic in the mouth. And what the doctor will do is uh, reduce the bone down to the level of this fixation base. This is the guide for reducing. And once you think you've reduced enough, then you try on this uh, carrier guide. And if it seats passively, then you know you've reduced the bone enough underneath it if not, go back and reduce more, and then come and then come back and try this again. And once it's passive, you know the bone is reduced. And really, this is a feel, a visual uh, process to make sure that there's an adequate bone reduction. Once the bone is reduced, then the osteotomy guide is seated. This is a BioHorizon guided kit, as you can see by the master tube sleeves that are inserted. Rotation indexing is controlled by uh, by these. By, well, by two things. One is the the uh, the little 
slot here in the sleeve and the other is you can kind of see them here we put nubs on the plastic guide to indicate rotation and then there will be a notch here in the sleeve that matches up with one of these nubs so yeah, obviously implant rotation is critical and it's nice to have that guided as opposed to freehand you know, i know that, that that there's different processes of rotating implants and confirming that your temp cylinder is going to be straight up and down well this one pretty much guarantees are going to be straight up and down so go through the whole uh, process of creating osteotomies, put the implants in. Implants do go through the guide in BioHorizon. So the implants are in. You can see the tab still down here, the reference tab for before and after. Implants are in. MUAs are on. Then the next step is to go through the photogrammetry scanning. So put the, this, this particular system is, uh, this is um, ICAM. So the scan flags go in and the doctor will scan for uh, almost 100 percent accuracy it's microns within perfection all right so it's scanned and that's that's the the first scan the second scan will be of the scan bodies after the patient is sutured and then so once once the patient is sutured these little scan bodies go in and there are different ones uh I, i'm not, not even sure the brand of these but there are several on the market uh, I recommend just using the ones from iCam or from PIC, whichever comes with the system. But some are taller and some are easier for suturing. So the, they're seated, patient is sutured, and then at this point the doctor will scan, will scan the, uh, the mouth capturing the scan bodies and capturing the palatal tab. Obviously, this is important, just as important as the rest of the scan, because this will reference back to the pre-surgical tab. So the doctor will, this is what the scans will look like, right? Pre, post surgery, and that pin is used for registering. You can see here, points are taken, matched, and then this is a registration process, just like any kind of digital registration, you know, setting points, and then these two will merge together. So once these are merged together, then we will take, then, then, then the files are exported, they're sent up to row. We have a special portal for this, for these files, because sometimes these are quick, urgent, uh, as in um, we want a, a 30 to 30 minute to one hour turnaround time on the setup. Uh, we we <clears throat> guarantee two hours, uh, just depending on how busy we are. But this will be exported along with all the other files. And when you're on our portal, you'll see the stack of files, which is, photos, working arch, opposing arch, scan flags, scan bodies, and then these before and after images and opposings and bites. So please make sure you have all the files uploaded. Uh, that uh, Otherwise, you know, it's, it's, it's either go or no go, depending on uh, the files being uploaded. So that's one process. That's the tab process. The other process is to have a denture, and we can design it. Uh, print it, ship it along with the, with the guide, or we can design it. This doctor printed it. Dr. Sully uh, printed this in office, no problem, because it doesn't have to be fancy. It just has to be accurate. So what the doctor will do now is uh, load up the uh, impression material and around Andrea the scan's bodies, right? Not the flags, but the scan bodies. They're, they're so there's light bodies there. Screwed in plus. and sutured. And then the denture will and be delivered, open, loaded with impression big material. Can, Ms. Judy. Ms. Judy, as big as you can, great yeah, job. Open wide, seat the denture, normal denture protocols. Obviously, let me, let me just pause open. that right there. Now, remember, the, the inside of this denture was tried in, right? Because you don't want the denture touching any of those scan bodies and holding it up and, and, and manipulating the bite. So the palate needs to fully seat. And the inside of this would need to be adjusted until that denture seats. All right, then it's loaded with impression material. Okay. Perfect. Put and the patient in the bite. Right Pretty fast set material. If the you know make sure the midline's on, rotate the denture if needed, and then boom, wait. And then when that comes back out of the mouth, oh, it is it is scanned. Right. Oops, let me show. Um, oh yeah, yeah, that's that's right. So we want to show oh, you know adjusting it now. right because we want to see the teeth. And, and often when you take an impression, there's flash, there's material right. everywhere. So trim it away so that you only have material on the intaglio. And that way we can see the teeth. And then use your iOS scanner. 
This will work with just about any scanner. Digitize that denture. Scan it 360. Intaglio, teeth, everything. You want that floating on the screen, every bit of that denture, so that we can register it to the mouth and register it to the opposing for the bite. Uh, and so that actually, so the doctor can register, because what, what's going to happen now is this, you can see it being scanned here. All right, so now it's just showing how the doctor is scanning the denture in his hand, what it looks like on the screen, digitizing it. That is an iCam, uh, sorry, sorry, that is a CERAC scanner, and it's... Uh, does just a terrific job of scanning. One, really one of the best for full art scanning. All right, scan the opposing. Normal stuff here. And then, uh, and then seat the denture. Open up it for us. Seat the denture and scan the bite. All right, so what do we have here now? Now we have the scan flags. Now we have the scan flags that have been exported. We have the ICAM export scan flags. We have the scan bodies that are picked up inside the denture. That's our reference rather than the palatal pin in this, in this uh, method. We have the opposing, we have the bite, we have the teeth, we have tooth position, we have everything we need to design this upper prosthetic. And this uh, a doctor does not do these in a rush. All right, so the, the seating is the next day. That's how, that's how he trains, uh, but we can do same day. It's kind of a long process, you know, a couple of hours maybe to get the files back. Then you have to print, clean, cure, then make it pretty with pink, then deliver. So how many hours is that? It might be a lot. So it's probably better to send the patient home, have them come back the next day and seat. But that's, that's up to the doctor. We, we, um, we make the files as quickly as we can. These were printed in office and, uh, and seated. Um, probably need to be a little more cautious with the, um, you know, with the cantilevers. However, I believe this patient had no posterior teeth, so that's uh, that's an option. Looks really nice, nice work, and then and then seated. Don't recall if this was same day or next. I believe this was actually a same day seating for the live program. And that is the process. These are desk screws. We work with uh, a couple different desk screws. We work with the uh, Dan Rosen, and uh, we can work with a couple of others. Uh, but our preference really today is the, uh, the desk screws, the 1901s, I believe. And that is how you perform a photogrammetry and combi guide combination type case. So thank you very much to Dr. Sullivan for teaching this in his course and for sharing this uh, very nice documentation. And uh, work with us, work with Rodent Lab. We offer these services, and the records are very straightforward, just like any full arch guided surgery case records. Thank you.